guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're highly welcome so on this video we are graduating from click conquered we're not just like from the title my eyes i don't know i don't know not today but my eyes are really really bad i really wish i can just put something for it to look normal but we are going to have an abnormal eyes today with full of eye bags the time is currently 9.30, I think. So we're supposed to be there by 9. I don't know how I overslept. Maybe it's even the sleep that is still in these eyes or the stress from yesterday's journey. One of these two. But nevertheless, I just want to quickly do this intro so that we just get going. I'm really excited for the day. I just can't wait to see the fellow fellows to see how amazing and beautiful they are all looking. I just can't wait to take some final words from some of our superiors and also from some of the mentors i'm uh, sorry from some of the fellows because i know today might be the last day you meet a lot a lot a lot today might be the last and some of them we definitely come across them along the way in the journey of life so yeah let's get going let me not make this intro really long so see you guys at the graduation so and then is that Graduates. In a graduate, I cannot see. <laughs> <laughs> Alongside with the Kita Assembly. Um, please, uh, the media team has said we can stand by the Honorable Commissioner for Health, Dr. Amina Ahmed Baloni, the representative of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, the distinguished guests. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all today to celebrate this achievement of our graduating fellows of 2022 Click on Kaduna Data Science Fellowship Program. The fellowship, which was launched by Kaduna State Government in State Data Revolution Plan, aims to strengthen coordination in the collection and use of data for evidence-based decision-making. The Honorable Commissioner, Minister of Health, my sister, Dr. Amina Mohamed Badoum, thank you for your support always. We call on you and you always say, I should hear before me say, thank you very much, Statistician General, Representative of Bill and Gates, Heads of Agencies here, our super graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Data science. The fellowship has equipped you with the necessary skills, knowledge to succeed, but the real test lies ahead. I want you to be brave, to look for new and different ways to solve problems, and to never be afraid to take calculated risks. As data scientists and ambassadors of Kaduna State, 
You are at the forefront of a rapidly changing world, and the impact you will have on our society will be significant. You have the potential to transform industries, drive innovation, and improve people's lives. However, great power comes with great responsibility. I urge you to use your skills and expertise to make a positive impact, to use your knowledge to create a better world, and to always act with integrity and ethical principles in mind. I want to profoundly thank our leader, my mentor, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Madam Nasser Ahmed al for his inspiring and strong leadership and direction in setting up a strong statistical system in the state. To the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, we remain grateful for the never-ending support you have given this program. The unflinching support and dedication to duty displayed by the Statistician General, the Directors, as well as all the Bureau staff are hereby acknowledged and commended. Your tireless efforts in overseeing the collection, analysis, and dissemination of data have been instrumental in shaping the decisions and policies that impact our great state, Kaduna. I want to thank the NFTI for the great work they do around using data for the good of Nigeria and Africa at large. You have shown a lot of technical know-how by giving technical advice at different stages of putting this program into action. On behalf of myself, the Plan and Budget Commission, the Government of Kaduna State, I wish you all graduates the best in your future endeavors. Thank you and God bless you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today she's here physically present with us. A round of applause for Dr. Amina Mohammed Farid, the Honorable Commissioner, Minister of Health. Thank you very much, ma'am. I can't, I can't forget my encounter with her in Abuja. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She, she, she used just two minutes to sign 30 certificates in Abuja. Wow. Now you remember. <laughs> Commissioner, Budget and Planning Commission, my dear sister, SG, my brother, um, the staff and members of uh, Planning and Budget Commission, uh, NatView, BMGF, and of course the people we're celebrating today, um, the data science, but it's good morning. Um, my sister has said everything, so I don't have to say anything. <laughs> That's what sisters are for. <laughs> they have your back. Right? I think um, I can't match what she has said in all the information she's given about the importance of this program and the importance of the work that we do. Um, and I Her name is on the agenda to say good evening, sister. She doesn't know what to say. What? What the Commission Planning and Budget Commission is saying is all that we have to say. <laughs> so we just come here to congratulate um, the new fellows. So I want to take, uh, on that note, I want to, uh, on behalf of the Ila Medelegate Foundation, um, the country director, Dr. Jeremy, who I'm sure will have loved to be here, and all the other staffs of the Nigerian country office in Abuja to congratulate the new fellows for achieving this feat. Like uh, it was mentioned, I think this is the 2.0. I remember we are part of uh, the graduation ceremony of uh, uh, the first cohort. And to measure, to say that in no small measure, the work of, since the, since the commencement of this uh, project, which is headed by one of the grantees of the BMGF, that's not few, and I think we have seen an improvement. But before we go to that, let me recognize the president of the executive, chief executive uh, head of the catch lab. You're welcome to this uh, <laughs> I'm media team. Please, can we have a video splash for the journey of the two points for the Kassai Fellowship Program? Thank you.
My name is Adrian Bashir. I'm a fellow of the Computer Science Fellowship Program, Super Zero. In one word, I'll say the fellowship program has been story inspiring. Very interesting. It took. <laughs> the fellowship has been a total package for me. The SFP 2.0 has not only met my expectations, it has exceeded my expectations on all ramifications. If I'm supposed to even use the word over met my expectation, <laughs> the program actually met my expectation in terms of um, how they carry us along and also how we take the course. Even as a fresh person, someone that is not even into tech, you can still catch up in terms of everything that they taught us. Well, the application process, I would say, was very transparent. 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 Seamless and very transparent. Transparent in the sense that you don't have to know it anyway and you can just apply. The application process has been the easiest for me because I've attended a number of interviews before and then you go there and you spend so many hours. But for me, this has been like the easiest and the most transparent because nobody walked up to me and told me to pay this amount of money and then you be selected. No. The field activities, actually. Um, I think why it is my best moment is um, having the unique opportunity to collect data. Normally, most data analysts just have the opportunity to work with data on their computers. But having that unique opportunity to collect, to interact with people in real life, having to see the data in real form before getting to the computer. So that's my best moment. Another advantage of the Data Science Fellowship Program is that most of the data we used were real data sets. Uh, gotten from their partners on the other programs where you get data from in the online site and also it was real data we were working on real projects so that was very very um, amazing. The instructors of uh, the data science fellowship program are they're just amazing in what they do. Well seasoned, you know, they took their time painstakingly, they were empathetic the the facilitators that could easily identify the strengths and weaknesses of every fellow. This is the first time I'm actually attending a fellowship and then someone is willing to even um, give you their personal phone number and email address to contact them any time of the day. Uh, if you have any problem, share with them and be able to provide a solution for you. They are really professional at what they do and they deliver as expected and even beyond expectations. Looking at it at the Koala from the context of someone that usually advocate for more women in anything I do, I see this as a very huge opportunity for the for the ladies that are in this program. And uh, I know moving forward, all of us, I will speak on behalf of all the ladies, uh, will appreciate this and we we'll look forward to seeing more of this in Kaduna State. So I'm very thankful to the KCON Kaduna team for encouraging females and ensuring that there was no gender bias whatsoever. It was almost the 50-15% um, entry for females as well as for males. We thank you so much for giving us such opportunity as females to showcase all that we have. We also have um, a couple of female instructors. This also shows that they actually include women into their system. Uh, most important skills that I've picked from the program uh, is first of all the fact that I was able to learn about the whole process of data management. Uh, that's because I believe that any individual can learn about the use of any data analysis tool. But it takes being taught by professionals to understand the whole data management cycle, which for me is a great thing to learn about. 
Then secondly, I was able to learn about the fact that there are regulations that guide data management. So it's not just about being a data analyst or being a data scientist, but it's also important to play to the rules, to play according to the rules and um, follow the rules in managing data. Then I've also learned problem solving skills and um, innovative skills. So with this data science fellowship, everything that was taught was actually more of a practical. So I was able to learn a lot from the Power BI, GIS, um, SPSS, a lot of them. So I was able to actually put them into practice and also know how each of them work in a practical world. Uh, just recently, there was, there was a delegate from Jigawa State Bureau of Statistics. So they came to view for a study tour. So I trained them on the new uh, Power BI, which I acquired from this uh, fellowship program. And also there are some of my colleagues that are coming to me so that I can train them. We started the training so that they can also be able to do the uh, data visualization. After the program, um, I look forward to developing my skills more on what was being uh, taught by our wonderful instructors. I look forward in learning around the technical skills I've gained and the soft skills that have been taught to us and all that. And how I, you know, I can pursue a career in that moving forward. When before the graduation, I was able to secure a job through this um, fellowship. This is with the good news of social media and also how I have been showcasing some of my work. So I was able to secure a job and currently I'm working with some of the fellows for a national project. The click on Kaduna actually have added to my skill because then I was scared of data. But when I got enrolled in the click on Kaduna, in fact, uh, data became my friend. So it actually helped me you know, to work seamlessly in most of the tasks that were given uh, to me. Uh, on Kaduna State Primary Health Care Board. And I also believe that actually helped me uh, when they saw my uh, improvement and performance. And I was actually uh, given a full time to quarter to transition, given the opportunity. I would love to work with Kaduna State Government because they are really doing a very nice job. So I look forward to working with them in, in collaborating with them on other projects that they are going on. Okay, I want to say a very big thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bill and Melinda Gates. NACVI Foundation. The Cardinal State Bureau of Statistics. And the Cardinal State Government. A very big thank you to them all because without them, all the 40 fellows won't be here today to share this wonderful testimonials. This is actually a life changing opportunity to all of us. I'm going to give my maximum best uh, to ensure that I don't let uh, everyone who has being a part of this success story down. To the team, to every person and individual involved in this program, a very big thank you to on health expenditure and utilization in the state. The fellow serves as an innovator where they work with them as a data collection. We all come, sir. Good morning, all. We will be presenting the certificates for the concurrent. Please, a round of applause for that. All right. Please keep clapping. Please keep clapping to my boss to increase my appraisal.
State Minister of Health, the Statistician General, Kaduna State Bureau of Statistics, the DG, Kaduna State Contributory Health um, Agency, um, representative of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, um, permit me to stand on existing protocols. Um, a lot has been said this um, afternoon, or this morning, <laughs> if I may say, on the fellowship program and how um, 40 of the fellows out of um, about 5,000 applicants have been selected and are graduating today from the program. The program has been very inclusive, which um, uh, a lot of people have talked about, and even the DG just mentioned. Um, we have purposely selected women, females, to be part of the fellowship program itself. We've been inclusive to have both undergraduates, both graduates, master students, and I'm happy to say we also have one PhD um, um, holder amongst them. The fellows, as well, we do have some that work within the Kaduna State Civil Service. We have um, three persons that have joined from the Kaduna Bureau of Statistics. We have one person from um, State Primary Healthcare Board. And then we have one, about one, I think one or two people from Teachers um, Service Commission that are part of um, our graduates um, today. So here are our fellows. Starting with um, the, so I, I, I think I will, we have to do it concurrently? Yes. Okay, presentation of the certificate. So Ma, if I may invite you, the Commissioner Plan and Budget Commission. I'll start with our best graduating fellow for the DSFP 2.0. Who is um, Bashir? <laughs> Bashir has a bachelor's degree in computer science and um, has currently secured an internship program with um, NADBU Foundation for Technology. He is one of our strong fits in terms of Python and um, visualization using Power BI. The second fellow is Abayo Ayobami. Ayobami holds a bachelor's degree in statistics from Federal <laughs> University of Technology. Correct. He has during the program. Ayobami is one of our success stories. During the program, um, using the skills he has gained, he has um, earned over a million naira. <laughs> Has also been retained. <laughs> he has also been retained to intern with um, that new foundation. The third is Salma. <laughs> Salma holds a bachelor's degree in microbiology, and um, she's very much interested and in, uh, enthusiastic of uh, public health. <laughs> She will be also interning with um, NatView Foundation as a junior data analyst. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Shola. Shola has a bachelor's degree in biochemistry and a master's degree in pharmacology. Mm -hmm. Shola will be participating in the 2023 World Government Visualization Summit Trial alongside its other colleagues. He is also an intern with um, Nanbu Foundation. We have it's Ismail. Ismail. Ismail has a bachelor's degree in statistics and very passionate about statistics. Ismail. Ismail will be participating as a um, freelance data analyst during the elections. The next is Deborah. 
Deborah is um, a student of mathematics at the Kaduna State University. <laughs> with the skills learned, De Deborah has um, earned a scholarship with Data Camp. Um, the next is Fadila. Fadila is actually a, uh, a self taught um, Python programmer and um, a web developer. Fadila is an undergraduate student in the chemistry at the Fadila State University as well. And one of our strong picks in terms of um, Python. Thank you very much, ma'am. I um, would like to invite um, the Commissioner, who is a deputy of ICT. And he is also an intern with um, NAVI Foundation. Madasa? Oh, Madasa is not here. So, Madasa. But that's is not here, I think. Um, yeah, he's in school. So Madessa is um is a Microsoft is a Microsoft um, innovative educator and a final year student of computer science at um uh, University Sokoto. He has um acquired and he has participated in a lot of um, hackathons and has won some of the hackathons. Um, some of which he has led the data prep team during the DSFP field activity and um, he will also be um, interning with the um, NAPI Foundation. Yazid. Yazid is an undergraduate student of um, chemical engineering at ABU. Um, Yazid um, secured a spot in the pioneer cohort of data for SDGs as a data value advocate. Thank you. 
specialization in probability distribution theory from ABU Zion. Mohammed, ya 
And I welcome everyone to the Data Science Fellowship Program 2.0 graduation. Words cannot explain how grateful we are to God Almighty for allowing us to witness this long awaiting event. First, we have much to be thankful for. We have received an um, excellent and intensive training here at the Data Science Fellowship Program 2.0. Thanks to the Kaduna State Government, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Kaduna State Bureau of Statistics, and the Natsu Foundation for Technology Innovation. This wonderful opportunity has prepared us to move forward and face whatever challenges life may throw at us. I believe that my fellow fellows will agree with me that this program has brought together a cycle of bright individuals and has also helped us establish our own circle of influence. That is to be a better listener, to be a better learner, to be a more cooperative and dedicated team player. Fellow graduates, I want you to know what a great gift it is to be as prepared as we are, because not all fellowships offer such an advantage. Here we have had a high degree of training, and whether you intend to continue in this space or not, you will benefit from what you learned here. You can also be thankful to our families. These past few months have presented us with a lot of ups and downs. And it is good to know that we had our families in our corner supporting us along the way. Finally, we can be grateful to one another. The friendships we formed here will last a lifetime. I hope that in the same way that we have supported and helped each other thrive throughout the fellowship, we will continue to assist and encourage one another in our future pursuits. Often on graduation day, we look outside for heroes, but I see them right here among us. I have seen in this fellowship, I have seen in this fellowship that we don't have to look far for inspiration, and that we each have the potential to make an inspiring contribution to others by being true to our values and committing ourselves to lofty goals. When you live here today, fellows, celebrate what you have accomplished, but also look forward with an eye toward how you too can be an inspiration to others. Before I leave the stage, I'd like to thank the National Foundation for Technology Innovation for providing 15 fellows with the opportunity to serve as junior data analysts. Congratulations to us all, and thank you for listening. We have uh, a gift to be presented to the Natview uh, Foundation for Innovation Technology, for Technology Innovation. So, um, and we have a presentation for the um, KDBS. So, I will humbly call on the um, Statistician General for the um, gifts. For KDBS. So. <laughs> I will only call on the program coordinator of our Mass Foundation.
Pedro. Today is a beautiful day. It's a wonderful day for each and every one of us. I'm very, very sad not to be here with, not to be there with everyone to ah, to share the happy moment with everyone. But I tell you guys, I haven't had to put on click on Kalina dresses today to show how much I've missed everybody. I can't wait to be back, and I can't wait to see everybody again. Which I know it's very, it's going to be very, very hard to get all of us together. But once again, congrats to us. It has been six months. It has been tough. Oh, I'm so unlucky not to be home. Have a paper and go prepare. So by 4 p.m. we are going to be having this barbecue at one place that I cannot remember the thing right now. But we decided not to move and we are done with the graduation ceremony and all. So we are just waiting here at the data lab after we finish eating so that we can go collectively. As for me, I don't even have cash with me. So I have to just wait behind. And Fadila just left with my only 150 naira that I have. She left with it to Kasu. So now I just have to wait for her to come back here so that we'll see how I will go to that place for the barbecue. And then she will transport me back home because I'm cashless. I don't have money. But should I say the money I have is in an account and before you can withdraw now, it will take the special grace of God. So guys, we just wait now for like three three hours max and it's already one something now. I think one third, so it's fair enough. So we'll just be just listening to music while we are doing the waiting. So I will see you guys there at the barbecue. <laughs> Don't leave anyone behind. Don't leave anyone behind. Ebu. Yes. Don't leave anyone behind. Where is that? Are you being made? 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 Oh, how about? Is is it bad? Man, I just got to. Is that Hi, Bima. Like 
Fold. Yes. Sleep. Okay, okay. Um, ah. Anybody here? What's moment? My worst moment was um, the first week. I struggled with sleep all through the experience. All right, anybody? What's moment?